When asked to solve a system of equations that has the same number of equations as letters that are used within the equations, we can use a method called Kramer's Rule to solve these sorts of linear systems of equations. Kramer's Rule uses determinants in order to solve the system. Now to solve it using determinants, we actually can directly set up a quotient of two determinants for our x value and a quotient of two determinants for our y value from pulling the information from the original system. And then we just need to evaluate those individual determinants and divide them in order to get our answer. Now it works out that the determinant in the denominator of each of the variables values that are solutions to the system come from making sure first that your system is in general form for each of the equations. So I have the x terms, the y terms, the equal to, and then the numbers on the other side of the equal sign. And when that arrangement is all set up, the, de the denominator determinants, you just use the coefficients from in front of the letters. So I have a 4 as a coefficient in front of my x in my first equation, then a negative 3 as the coefficient in front of y in my first equation. In the second equation, I have a negative 2 and then a 5. So that's the determinant that I want to find for the denominator for x as well as the denominator for y. Now for the numerator for the variables, there's a little thing that you can do that helps you keep it straight. If you're using pencil when you're writing this down, go ahead and start by writing the exact same determinant that you have in the denominator. But for the x letter, you erase out x's coefficients and replace those numbers with the constants from the other side of the equal sign. And that will form the correct determinant that will give you the numerator of the value for x that solves it. For the y's numerator, you're again going to write down the determinant just like it looks in the denominator. But when solving for the y variable's value, you erase out the y's coefficients and replace it with the constants from the other side. So this sets up our determinants to solve our system. Now all we have left to do is to calculate each of these determinants and find their quotient. So let's first check the denominator determinant. It's two rows, two columns. So to find that determinant, we multiply the upper left-hand number to the lower right-hand number. So 4 times 5 is 20, minus, from the determinant formula, and then take the lower left-hand number times the upper right. So negative 2 times negative 3 is 6. So I have 20 minus 6 in my denominator of my x, and 20 minus 6 gives me a 14 down there. Now that's also what we're going to get for the denominator for y. We'll just check it again. That gives me 20 minus 6, which gives me, again, a 14 in the denominator. They were the same, so we should get the same numbers in the denominators of our fractions, but it's always good to go through it again just to make sure. Okay, let's find out what belongs in the numerator for each fraction. For the x's numerator, we want to find the value of this 2 by 2 determinant. So upper left hand number 6 times lower right hand number 5. 6 times 5 is 30 minus 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. And 30 minus negative 12 is 30 plus 12 or 42. For the numerator for y, we have 4 times 4 is 16 minus, for the determinant formula, negative 2 times 6 is negative 12, and 16 minus negative 12 is 16 plus 12, or 28. And then in the final step, we want to actually do the division to see if that comes out to be an integer value, or if it's even a fractional value, we want to leave our fractional value in simplified form. Well, 42 divided by 14 comes out to be 3, and 28 divided by 14 comes out to be 2. So our solution to this system using determinants or using Kramer's rule 
gives me an x value of 3 and a y value of 2. 3 comma 2. Solve is the ordered pair solution of this system of equations.